I will talk to you and show you exactly what kind of exercises you can be doing to change your body shape. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would make a different kind of video. So I will talk to you and I will show you exactly which exercises to do from your home. If you're a stay-at-home mom, if you are a person who doesn't go to the gym, if you have couple weights, even if you just want to do body weight exercises, these would work as well. I will show you everything and the most needed exercises. So compound movements, right? They are the key. That is what you need to progressively overload on. And let's go back. These exercises that I will show you how to do so you know the form right here. These are the compound movements right here. You do them, you, your body will change for sure. But you need to progressively overload. So if you are a beginner and you're starting body weight only, and you know, a couple weeks, couple months, you need to progressively overload. So either write down how many reps and sets and weight or body weight that you are doing somewhere or in the notepad so you can keep track in a couple weeks or a month increase that so either increase the reps on the same exercise increase the sets or the tempo or the weight depending on you know what you have and what you are working with so write everything down and do these exercises right here do these exercises of course if you want you can always email me and i will you know write a program for you on which days to work on what but if you're just you want to move your body you want to change your shape you're not in a hurry you're not like wanting to build huge muscles um just do these exercises you don't need to do all these crazy instagram trending workouts compound movements are the key and of course, if you want to change your body, your shape to lose weight, to you know gain muscle, food is very important factor in this. Of course, I make a lot of videos of what I eat and I actually just made a video, uh, check it out right here, how to lose fat if you wanting to lose fat because I want to really focus on exercises. The most important exercises to change your body shape, to change your body overall and to burn calories Anyway, so let's move on into the exercises that I am talking about and don't forget to check out my other videos, you know, message me or email me, find me on Instagram or TikTok and I will help you with form. Form is very important. Form is very important to get the exercise correctly and to work the correct muscles. You don't want to get injured, take a break, you know, never go back to working out again. It's just, you want to do it safely and correctly for you to actually see improvements. Once you start seeing improvements to your body, you will get hooked, trust me. Okay, so let's see. First exercise, of course, is squats. A lot of people cannot do squats. Totally okay. A lot of variation of squats are available. So let me show you. Regular squat right here. You can do body weight, banded, uh, dumbbell only, barbell on your back, barbell on the front, so front squat, low back, low back squat would capture and target your glutes and hamstrings a lot more. Uh, and my favorite type of squat is a box squat. So if you have trouble getting the form correct, if you have trouble with your knees or whatever hips, whatever the reason may be, try box squat. For me, I always had trouble with my hips, you know, during pregnancies afterwards, my hips never kind of went back into place, I feel like, and sometimes the squat makes it worse. So what I do is I do a box squat and of course I change what I do. So sometimes I will do a heavy box squat with a barbell on my back and do it slow. Don't forget when you do a box squat, you want to just tap the bench. Do not sit on the bench. That way your spine could get hurt over time if you're doing heavy weight. So what you do, let me show you. If you have a bench here and you just kind of tap the butt bench, right? So here, you just tap it. You don't actually sit on it and relax and kind of swing yourself off. 
you just tap it and you're always in the same place so wherever you have a barbell here or a dumbbell here uh, whatever works or even body weight would work great as well like every single exercise play around with your leg placement and foot placement to see which variation is the best for you for me if i you know open my legs wider and kind of do like a sumo type of thing my inner thighs hurt so if i want to work on my inner thighs that's a great exercise for my inner thighs if i do more of a narrow stance then my uh, glutes hamstrings hurt a lot more and of course quad so it's for me it's like overall don't forget we are all very different on the exercises that you, where you feel so if i tell you that this exercise does something for my inner thighs and you're like that does nothing for my inner thighs then <laughs> you are not me right and you can feel different muscles doing the same exercise I forgot to show you and mention one thing about the squat which is very important and that is how to actually squat when squatting you need to be comfortable and to feel comfortable so if you squat down hold on if you squat down and you don't feel comfortable right so I I saw a lot of women squat like this with their feet try spreading them out and really squatting into yourself so look at look at my back i'm not overarching i'm not doing this and my legs are very wide and they're going out i hope this is helpful okay Next, I think like I covered squats well enough, of course. Let's go to deadlifts. There's a lot of deadlifts and if you, you follow me on Instagram, I love deadlifts right now. They feel great. They feel so great and I will show you a deadlift and I actually did one a couple days ago. But I will show you and explain to you the form to get it right. Let's go. Okay, so I hope you can see this well. And I, will, I have some, I have very lightweight for what I usually do for deadlifts, but uh, I will show you the form, right? Conventional deadlift, what you do, you go near the bar, you have your feet kind of shoulder width apart, you bend over and you kind of squat into it, right? So as you see, I'm not really bending my knees that far. I'm kind of just leaning forward, bending my knees but not pushing i'm trying not to push the bar at all the bar stays where it's at and my feet are right under the bar my chins are not touching the bar when i kind of lean forward that's when they touch the bar i sit into it like a squat just like squatting you squat back so we do the same kind of movement and you almost feel like you might tip back like you fall you will fall back but the bar is actually hold, you're holding on to the bar. And what you do then, you just push up with your legs without actually moving your back. So one, two, three, you push. And you lower back. One, two, three. And you just continue that movement. Up. For the upper back, upper back is working a lot, so we need to imagine pushing your arms back your shoulders pushing them back and down and you just lock it there it doesn't move so as you can see i step right to the bar i squat into it and i could be like this see the difference but then you you kind of push it back and down and then you lock it and then that doesn't move throughout the whole exercise Okay, so I'll show you um, sumo deadlift right here. It's the same thing. You just, you know, your, le your legs are in a sumo stance. Your feet are pointing forward. Your knees are outwards as well. Arms are a lot closer in. And you kind of do the same thing as a conventional deadlift. Already I'll show you right here. I love it. I love it. So the thought behind this is you closing the door with your bum. So your bum kind of goes out, you close the door, and then you go back in. Don't forget, the shoulders back and down, and you keep them locked. 
of course no arching of your back the back is straight so best thing is to film yourself film yourself if you need tips uh, you know send the videos to me and I will pinpoint what you're doing right or wrong in those videos so these are the main things for deadlifts okay okay if you know me you know I love hip thrust not because it's like my favorite exercise by no means um, but it's great for the glutes so if you want to grow your glutes and you do glute strength is very important it's very important for your posture for your back so not only to have nice glutes as a goal but overall you want to have you know a strong body and glutes is a very big part of that body so hip thrusts right here I actually made a lot of videos talking about how to do a grip thrust correctly. I will really quickly run it over with you right now. How to do a hip thrust correctly. So chin to chest, right? So you see in this video, just watch it and learn it and film yourself when you do these exercises and you will actually see and you can compare, you know, the video, like my video and then yourself and you can actually see where you can improve. So chin to chest, the most important thing. Of course, if you see that you don't feel your glutes with this exercise, you need to play around with your feet. So your legs are making a 90 degree angle. You can, you know, put a band on so you can actually put some resistance. You can play around with your feet, kind of point them out, point them wherever and play with that. So pushing up with your hips and making a like a, like a straight line with your body right so hold it on for a second or two there and then lower it big lower it back down of course like i said progressive overload is very important and the key in changing your shape because your body gets used to what you're doing and it kind of needs like a little push a little scare to change so if you're doing hip thrust and you don't have more weight to add you don't have anything else to add you can do temple work that's very great with hip thrust so if you always did just up and down up and down quick you know reps for your hip thrust now you can do harder set of hip thrusts so which is one and one fourths so you go um up you go half down you go up again and then you go back down and then you go up and then half down up and then all the way back down again that is just painful that is so painful so painful okay so we covered squats we covered deadlifts we covered hip thrust single leg work these things are very important as well so i really like to do single leg box squat i really like single leg rdl try them out they're great you need to have single leg movements in your routine you would not believe how many messages I get from women just asking why I do so many upper body exercises, why I'm working on my upper body, that's not womanly. Like you're not gonna look like a woman in a couple you know, years working on your upper body. And the thing is, well most, well firstly, it's not that easy building muscle and building like nice strong muscles. And second of all, you need a, a nice shape, well, if you want a nice shape, you want an overall hourglass, you need to work on that, you know, top. You want the hourglass to start nicely and then you go in with your waist and then you go out with your bum. If you don't have a nice upper body and you don't need to have it, of course, but strong body is, you want the whole, you want to have the whole body strong. It, you want it all nice and strong and tight and working and of course i've been working for a year and a half and you probably don't even see that i have any kind of muscle on my upper body like it's not it's not that easy it's not that easy let's move on to the upper body exercises and those are right here this, let's start with overhead press for the shoulders great exercise love this exercise it's very hard to progressively overload on this exercise if you're doing heavy weight of course when you're doing a proper overhead press you don't bend your knees so you don't kind of just swing off with your knees to help you out you can if you want to that is not actual you know you don't need to be that strict if you don't want to i want to be strict and i want to know exactly how strong i am so I am not bending my knees and the way that you do it, and I can show you right here. When you have 
a bar, right, or a dumbbell or whatever you're using, you kind of lift it up and then you go into inside of your arms and then you go down, you go back and then you go in and then you go out. I hope that makes sense. I hope you can see that well. Okay, so yes, overhead press, very important, great for the shoulders. Another great exercise that I love is rows, bent over rows for the back. So if you want to work on your back, of course, the, the exercises that I'm mentioning right now are the ones that, you know, you should at least be doing. If you don't wanna play around with these different exercises, you just want to hit the most important exercises to progressively overload over time and just improve your shape, your body, your weight loss journey, your gain, whatever journey you are on. Um, bent over rows are the most important for your back. So the way you do a bent over row is, I'll show you. You bend over, you grab your weight, your back is straight, and what you do when you lift your elbow to your hip. So you don't just go up, you lift your shoulder to your hip. And then you kind of, you can feel your back working. So what it looks like, you lift your weight, I hope you could see that well and I hope that makes sense so that is bent over rows of course you can do single arm bent, bent over rows if you don't have a barbell works great or just a home item of any sorts would work, work great as well for this one okay and so working on your chest right very important as well you want a nice nice front right here just like nice body right okay bench press i know a lot of women are not gonna do it a lot of, a lot of women are not comfortable doing an exercise that is mainly and mostly known for a manly exercise okay i feel like it's the sexiest exercise for a woman and i can show you a picture right here which i feel like that's just sexy and hot and yes i love bench press you can do of course on the ground on the bench uh, whatever you like if you don't feel comfortable doing this exercise you can do push-ups push-ups are great you know uh, if you cannot do a regular push-up do a girly push-up or a knee push-up whatever you want to call it and just improve that over time it's hard to progressively overload this one too so you need to be consistent with your push-ups to actually you know get more and more reps over time and just like that, we come to the end of this video. I told you it's gonna be a quick one and please don't attack me for not mentioning certain exercises. Of course, I feel like there's a lot of exercises that you can be doing from lateral raises to curls, from just like I mentioned, lunges and jumping squats and whatever else there is. And there's a lot of exercises. But if you keep up with these exercises that I just told you, they are compound movements. Compound movements meaning that when you work on this with this exercise, you get more muscles involved than just one. That's what you want. If you are not working out all the time and if you don't have a program, a routine, if you just want to come back home after work and do a quick workout, couple exercises to get your body just moving overall, these are the exercises that you should be focusing on. Again, if you have any questions, you know, I have, faith, I have a Facebook, I have a TikTok and Instagram and YouTube, of course, on my website. My website has an email if you guys are interested in, uh, you know, working with me. So thank you for watching today's video. Have a great day and see you soon.